And um, with three games left and, and two at home, I'll tell you what, I'd much rather play at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. As much as I love this building, this place is hell for me. So um, I'm just proud of our young men, and, and hopefully we can uh, continue to improve as the year goes on. How bad is when you have to shed over the point of focus? When you're in a place like this and things are going well, bananas. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, and how bad will can that do over the next few years? Well, obviously, we're going to need it coming down a stretch as we're trying to compete for a league championship, going to the Big East tournament in Madison Square Garden. You know, Nate has been here with me for five years, you know, as uh, AJ, four years, Hawkler's in the sixth year. We're an old team, and you've got to let them know that, that they've been in a lot of games, up, down, big, small leads. Um you, you got to try to believe in them the best you can because it's not about coaching. It's about putting them in position to believe. Last question for Nate. So we can get him on. You guys are down 19 as a player. Where does it come back like that at the start? Um, you know, I was never worried. Um, like I coach said, I've been in a, I was, I was, like coach said, I've been in a lot of games, um, but I have trust in my coach. I have faith in my teammates to execute down the stretch. And that's what we – and that's what we did. Um, you know, coach knew that it was a size advantage in, uh, towards Butler, so he went to me early. And, um, you know, my guys clicked at the end of the game. Jared Bynum went off, Nor Horkle went off, and that's just a credit to them being old and being used to being in close games like this. Raise your hand if you have questions, guys. Question on Zoom from Kevin McNamara. Uh, yeah, Nate, uh, when you're down 19, you said, you know, you guys didn't panic, but you know, how about in the first half? And why do you think you guys, you know, started so slowly? Honestly, I, I don't even know why we started so slow. I mean, it, but it's my job to motivate the group. Um, you know, we couldn't hit any shots, but that's sometimes you have games like that. And, uh, well, we're just happy that we got the win and we can't wait to get back to the dunk. <laughs> and uh, how, how much how much you think the group missed Al? Oh, we definitely missed Al. You know, he's the, we call him the closure. You know, he makes the free throws at the end. Uh, we missed a couple. Game would have been a lot easier if we made those free throws, and we missed some. We hope we get better soon. Question on Zoom from Brendan McGare. Hey, Nate, first of all, congratulations for the win. Thank you. I uh, wanted to ask, you know, kind of how the group went today. Do you think maybe how Jared played first half compared to second? Is that kind of you know, indicative how you guys went, you know, struggling to kind of gain your rhythm. And how much do you think it took for a while for you guys to get used to playing without Al? Um, we depend on Jared a lot. Um, he's He's been going crazy these last couple of games. But, um, you know, I'm not surprised because he puts in the work. And uh, but definitely we missed Al. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, we've been in this position before. We're, we're, I think uh, when we played uh, DePaul, we were down, but we didn't get our heads down. We we stayed with it because we know we have to execute down the stretch to get the win. And uh, yeah. Last question for Nate, Nick Rojas. Nate, coach spoke about seniors being so important in games like this. From your vantage point, what was it like seeing your fellow seniors and grad students out there uh, being able to withstand a road environment like that and coming back from down 19? Could you repeat that one more time? Yeah, sorry, Nate. So coach talked about having seniors out there being important in a game like this. From your standpoint, how important it was it to see veteran guys out there like yourself uh, in a game like this? Um, it's very important. Um, <clears throat> no, I, like I said before, I trust Noah and Jared to come down the stretch. I think everybody helped us win this game, though. Uh, Ada Crosswell came in, got us a, you know, a big offensive rebound put back. Even Andrew Fonts, a senior who's been here before, came in, made a huge three when we were down. And but, uh, you know, I trust coach to make game time decisions. Uh, most people don't put walk ons in the game. And Andrew Fonts got in the game and, and, and boosted us. He gave us that energy and he motivated us. So, yeah. Thank you, Nate. We got two more questions for Coach Cooley. You're good, Nate. Thanks. Did uh, you feel like Butler slowed down uh, the pace at all after building that 19 point lead, or you took more of it just you were and you made a lot of three point shots, which can always erase the Right. I, I don't think their pace slowed down. I thought our defense, you know, picked up a little bit of intensity. And when you come back from a win like, I mean, a lead like that, you got to have a little bit of luck too. You know, we've been known as the luckiest team in the country. So I want to continue to be, and, and we did. We had some bounces go our way. Right. We had some bounces go our way. 
They had a couple of layups that they missed at the rim. I don't think it was the pace of play. I thought, you know, they missed some shots. We capitalized on a couple of threes. And like anything else, like when, when the ball's going in the basket, you get a little bit more energy, you know? So I don't think it was their pace for sure. It was, you know, they missed some shots that, you know, they probably normally make and we were able to make some shots. So I just think it was, uh, I just think it was a really, really good college basketball game. What's your reaction when someone tells you to luck this I've been lucky my whole life, man. Seriously, I'm sitting in front of you as a head basketball coach. And everybody in this room is lucky. Think about that. We do jobs we love. We can inspire young men to be great. We get to call timeout for an incredible living. You know, again, we all want to win, you know, and there's going to be times where we lose. But in life, I, I, I am the luckiest man in the world, especially with the person I married. You know what I mean? Seriously, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, you know, it's not about luck. And we can take another question, man. I don't want to rush these people. I mean, they, they have the job to do. And I, I like when young people ask questions too, because you got to grow. Uh, last question, Joe Chiotto on Zoom. I'm going to ask his, I'm going to answer his question first. Joe, you can wait. I answer your questions every damn day. What you got? You got to wait, Joe. Yeah, 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 Joe. Yep. Great question. Good job. Um, trust, trust, trust goes a long way. You know, you need trust with your players. You need trust with your assistant coaches, you know, and you may not get over the hump sometimes, but you can always come back to a situation where, you know, we've been in this before we've done this before. We like playing in close games. You know what I mean? I tell them, hey, get me to two or three minutes in a one-two possession game. That's where I know I'm not lucky. That's why I know we're damn good. And, and the numbers will speak to that. The closer the game, the more comfortable I feel. Big leads are hard to coach in. Big leads are really, really hard to coach in. So great question. And Joe, what question you got? Joe, hey, out on Zoom. Thank you, Ed. Um, Al Durham, um, what are your thoughts going forward? Is this a game to game situation? I know they mentioned sports hernia. Um, that doesn't seem like a, a quick fix. What's the prognosis with him? Um, I think I'm going to have a medical degree next week. You know, uh, I, I don't know. He's been in pain for the last month. He's been in pain for the last month. So he's been able to grind through a lot of pain. But right now, we just thought it wasn't the right thing to try to keep him through that. We'll, we'll talk to our medical staff that does a great job. and. Hopefully we can have him back coming down a stretch. We have a tough game on Wednesday at home, and then we have another tough game on Saturday. So uh, hopefully we can get him back because we need him. We were we disheveled without him on the floor. Thanks, Ed. Thanks. Thank you. Good. Thank you, guys. Good luck. All right, if you're on mute, I would ask you to please mute yourself, please. I'm sorry, if you're on Zoom, please mute yourself. Uh, we'll have Coach start with an opening statement, then we'll take whatever questions you have. Uh, you know, that's a tough one to swallow. Uh, obviously, um, a really good team. You know, Coach does a great job of having a heck of a season uh, this year. And, and um, you know, they, they, they gritted it out, you know, a man down. Um, you know, and our guys fought and battled and, you know, had chances there uh, in the regulation and, and in overtime. Um, and that's, that's been, we've been there a lot, right, this year with this group, especially uh, right there, one possession, two possession, you know, three possession games. I think that's number eight uh, out of our conference games where um, they're now just, un, you know, recognizing in the moment the value of each one. 
Um, got to got to do a better job in the second half of guarding them. We couldn't we couldn't get them stopped when we needed to, and they shoot sixty one percent. But the first half was good. Our energy was good. Our response was good. Um, when they made runs, we had we came back at them, and it came down to you know the last possession, and uh, we had a good look at it. it didn't drop, and so uh, now just picking ourselves up and, and continuing to prepare well, uh, so that we can be right there again. You know, Wednesday when we see Seton Hall. Thank you.